Good morning, all. I wrap Stephen with your morning flash update, and this update is for the morning. As we're here now on September 24th, Tuesday, 2024. And before I get into what the markets are doing, let's go to the news of the day. We just had Red Book retail sales come out, and they're still strong. They were up 5.2% the first three weeks of uh, September versus last year, and up 4.4% in the week ending September 21st versus a year ago. Then we get to the 20 metro home prices, and for uh, prices for July year over year, we're up 5.9%. So even if mortgages are falling, home prices are going up. And they were only up one-tenth of a percent uh, for the month over month. And I think that's important because we're seeing that slowdown. Is it going to go negative? That'll be the big issue. The conference board, U.S. consumer confidence numbers come out at 9 o'clock. The Richmond Fed's going to update their monthly manufacturing sector index for September uh, this morning. We're going to see API numbers come out at about 3.30 today. And as I wrote in my newsletter yesterday, China was preparing to unleash a series of events in terms of stimulus for the economy, and they announced them today. And with that announcement, the first thing I'd always go to, what is copper doing? And copper, you go to because China consumes, when its economy is rolling along, about 50% of the world's copper production. And there you go. So that's where you're at there. So they like what's going on. They've cut their, they're going to cut repo rates. They're cutting the main uh, reserve requirement for banks. So they're cutting that initially, and then they're going to have another cut at the end of the year, they say. If you want to buy a second home, they're going to allow you to do it with only a 15% uh, down payment. In terms of mortgages, they didn't say how much, but they're lowering mortgage costs. So we will see what all this does. This is the first of uh, a couple of salvos, I would expect. It's not one and done, so look for more from that. Uh, in the U.S. economy, as you can see, the stock market up again. It's defying everything about September being the weakest month of the year. It's record upon record upon record. And obviously, seeing China come to the table today helps our market because world trade goes up from that. You can see gold is, though, looking at this all as being inflationary, which is the right look. The dollar is down, and while the dollar will bump along, I think it's only a question of time before it cracks the 100 level and could be headed to the 96, 97 level before it's all said and done. Uh, the British pound is up today, and the market is over the Bollinger Bands, getting a little bit extended as I see it. I don't know where the exact uh, peak will be, but I'm guessing you're, go you're gonna get a pullback shortly. As you would expect on an event like today, you're up sharply in the energy markets, uh, and heating oil is up. Why? Well, there's a in the Caribbean, there's a storm forming that looks as though it's going to become a potential Category 3 or 4 hurricane that'll scoot around, get into the Gulf of Mexico, from there attack the rig areas in the Florida Panhandle so far. Now, you know these things change. What we do know is that uh, one of the hurricanes just hit the Yucatan. 30 inches of rain between now and Thursday is going to fall in that region, and then that'll be moving up uh, north. So keep your eye on that. It will affect parts of the Midwest potentially, as well as the next unnamed, and that's right, unnamed storm in the Caribbean. It's not a named hurricane just yet. You're getting a bid right across the board in most of the uh, grains today. So harvest lows, they certainly look like they're in place. The falling dollar, well, you hope that you get a little bit of trade off of that. That's at least how I'm looking at it. And if you look at the bonds, the notes, the yield spread, it's doing just what it should. You're adding yield to the back end and you're barely moving on the front end. You can see the differences here in the points. That is the traditional way. So that market has gotten back to what we call normalization, and I think that's how you approach it. So is today going to be active? It already is. Uh, could it end up in another crazy day to the upside? It is already. Will it hold is going to be the biggest question. I'm I. Rapstein. We'll review all this tonight in our market wrap-ups. You have a great trading day.